Rates continue to trend lower, home prices remain strong, while housing inventory remains low. Are we approaching a sweet spot in the industry? And are we close to saying that the worst is behind us? Let's find out. Lights, camera, action, cue train noise, go. AI, please remove train horn. Okay, ready? Let's roll. Team, we said it last week, finally some good news for realtors and lenders, and while the fight isn't over, we may be approaching a moment in time where we could say, worst may be behind us. I hate to say it out loud because the last year, maybe even two years has been brutal in the business. Up was down, left was right, and the best of the best couldn't even predict what's going to happen next. So first, let's revisit our point from last week that gave us some hope. We talked about the mortgage rates hitting the 100 day moving average, and if they could break through that, how they would improve, and that would be good news for all of us. Well, good news guys, they did, and now we're approaching another important technical. It's the 200 day moving average. And if we could also break through this ceiling and make that a floor of support like we did last week, well, then that's really, really good news for rates and we could see some future improvements. Don't look now, but we've had a good month and a half rally with mortgage rates and we're seeing this play out in the media as well with stories like this from Redfin where they're talking about housing payments declining for the fifth straight week. Still up year over year, but trending down, which is awesome crossing our fingers that this rally continues to trend. While all that was going on, home prices continued to rise as low inventory drove prices up 5.5% year over year and up 2.1% quarter over quarter. Now, back to my opening statement, where we may be approaching a sweet spot for sellers and buyers. Higher rates have resulted in a lock-in effect in housing. Sellers can't or won't sell because they don't wanna swap their three handle interest rate for a seven handle, and I get that. Side note to the lock-in effect, another interesting story about this was in the Wall Street Journal last week, where they talked about recently divorced couples being forced to live together post-divorced due to higher cost of living and the inability to sell their home and split the profits and walk away. But again, we could be approaching a sweet spot that will change all of that for locked-in sellers and locked-in divorced couples. If rates continue to approve, then we hit a sweet spot where the early adopters will see the opportunity to finally list ahead of the mad rush that is coming. Two schools of thought here for sellers. They wait until rates come all the way down, which is good, but then when they go to buy, this places them back in a similar 2020 setting where they're forced to overpay and get into a bidding war. Or they become an early adopter, so to speak, get in early, list now while rates are coming down, sell the home at a fair price, buy the home they've wanted to buy over the past few years but couldn't, and get a fair price on their purchase without a bidding war and also get a fair rate in the process. See what I mean about this early sweet spot? This could be the beginning to unlocking the locked in effect that has been a place that forced boomers to stay in their home when they wanted to downsize. That forced divorced couples to live together post-divorce. That prevented move up buyers and finally kept first time home buyers on the sideline this entire time. But we're finally approaching a time where this may be unlocked. This is the conversation that we need to be having with all of our clients that we mentioned above. Team, I don't wanna to get too excited because you never know with this crazy market, but this looks like a massive opportunity that's screaming our way. And man, are we close to saying the worst is behind us, which is amazing. Let's freaking go. Hang in there just a little bit longer, team. And for God's sake, let's go unlock all those home buyers and sellers, and we'll see you guys next week.